project in the libraries. How do, do you know how people have responded? Do you know, are people taking this home and tapping them? And then you keep looking at questions. The response from the the series in the libraries uh, project, I've had uh, uh, a varying uh, response. The generally, I would say, on the whole, it's very, very, um, uh, very, very positive. The it, it's a little bit kind of muted from libraries because librarians are not allowed to talk about a particular product in. They're not allowed to promote any particular product because they are librarians. Uh, well, that, that's what it's like in Scotland. But I've received lots of encouragement from uh, a lot of the heads of libraries in Scotland. Uh, I've received uh, emails from all over Britain. I've received uh, emails from uh, Australia. Uh, I've received them from Mexico. I've received them from Brazil. I've received them from Spain. Uh, Belgium, the Netherlands, Germany. Uh, I, I've got people saying that, that this is like pure gold. This is amazing. This is uh, they they really like it, and the it's, so there's uh, there's a really good response. But there are drawbacks to what I've done, and the this a CD isn't perfect for uh, for everything. Uh, for being able to get open source out because it is just one CD and open source software is a much larger subject than that. But libraries in themselves have actually got a much bigger problem that they face and that is that uh, being able to get di digital media, digital information out to uh, the public. How do libraries do that? You can give them the public access to the internet, but that's not the same as allowing them to download stuff from the internet. Because if the libraries allow them, the public to download stuff, then that means that they could be allowing them to download illegal stuff uh, or inappropriate information from the internet. So they need libraries need to be able to control or have a rough control over what information is sent out. So in one way, the CD is a good thing, but the libraries themselves have got a much bigger problem. And that's where the next, uh, the next stage of uh, the open source movement, which is just starting to be talked about now, and that is how do you get uh, all this valuable information, say there are 300 different Linux distributors uh, available. How do libraries possibly catalog 300 library, uh, Linux distributions? They can't. It'd be, it'd be too difficult. But there's going to be a distribution soon. And it is going to be a distribution distribution, which is uh, technically very simple. It would be um, a BitTorrent server, uh, which has a catalog which is created with another BitTorrent file. Uh, the front end would be of the, a computer which is kind of like the TiVo or Freevo screen, very easy to use, a CD burner, and then you've got a collection of ISOs on the hard disk. And the bandwidth that is used by libraries is the bandwidth overnight, uh, which they don't use anyway. And uh, this would be a very appropriate use of the bandwidth that libraries have, because they don't necessarily need to just send and receive information or get distrib Linux distributions, but they can also get information, things like the Gutenberg project, and then the public can go in and they can just burn a CD straight off from the... Uh, so it's a, a CD distribution access point. And uh, that's when things are going to start becoming really interesting. Tell us a little bit more.